Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of What's in the Toolbox. Today I would like to talk about this multi-bit screwdriver. I think it's a very handy tool to have if you're not a professional uh, craftsman when doing DIYs or jobs or repairing stuff. You will probably encounter a multitude of screw heads. And of course you can buy a screwdriver for each type of screw head, but that quickly gets expensive and it takes up a lot of room. The product I have here is from the brand Stanley. It's of the Fatmax series and there's a type number on there 65-490. It basically takes any quarter of an inch hex bits. The tip is magnetic so that will ensure that the screw bits snap into place very tightly. And it also has an additional benefit that it will transport the magnetism to your screws. So if you want to pick up a screw or place it on the bit head, then it snaps firmly into place, which is very handy, I think. One of the most important things about a screwdriver, I think, is the handle, because that determines how comfortably you can use the tool, I think. Stanley nailed it with this one. There's like a sort of a soft grippy material on the thicker part of the handle. On the end there's this dome part which is more solid and more sturdy because that is the part that's going to turn into your hand palm. The handle is not too big so you can grip it anymore but it's also not too small to lose any momentum or torque. Of course the handle or the screwdriver itself is uh, part one you obviously need a bit set with it i got this little box very compact in size it contains all sorts of screw heads like your normal phillips your posy drift the torx and of course the flat heads it doesn't have to be expensive it sometimes comes with for example a drill bit set like this part in here Use the chopper passing by. I don't know if I told this already, but the area we're living in is basically a low flying zone for the military, for the Dutch military. Um, they, they're not allowed to land, but they can fly uh, on the height of grass. Basically, it means they can make a bunch of noise. Uh, even in the middle of the night. So it's wonderful living here, but you have to take into account the chopper noise sometimes. So about the build quality, I'm very pleased with this multi-bit screwdriver because it has lasted me a few years already. It's always in the bottom part of the toolbox where it's getting banged up and thrown around. The steel is still nice and straight. The handle is intact the bit i think that has the most wear and tear is the bits because when you force a screw into place or something doesn't fit properly which is a mistake i may make so sometimes metal is being shaved off but no real issues there and they're easy to replace so some pros and cons obviously it's cheap it doesn't take up a lot of space but there are also some disadvantages and the biggest thing is the thickness of this bit holder sometimes you have to tighten and loosen a screw that's in a very narrow space and with this particular screwdriver you can't reach it because on a normal screwdriver the shaft is evenly with the tip and yeah, as you can see here there's obviously a thicker part on the other hand, you just need one screwdriver to rule them all. So I think that this advantage is quickly forgotten once you get to use this tool. Two tips I have for you. Um, 
One is getting the screw bits out of the box. Of course you can do it by hand, but then you have to pluck it and <laughs> especially the Philips and the Posey drive bits, they are wedge shaped so your hands slide off easily. But luckily the tip of the screwdriver is magnetic and of course you can also use it to get the bit out of the box like this. And the other one is nowadays you can get these in a ratcheting version which I think makes a lot of sense because if I have to screw I have to reposition my hand every time and with the ratcheting ones you can keep your hand in one place and just wiggle forward and back and the screw will tighten or loosen itself. So that's a tip I would like to give you. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks again and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.